autonomic nervous system has parts. It's not one thing. It's not like you got your autonomic system pumping or something like that. Uh, in fact, uh, there, it's a very important uh, for, for, to understand that the, there are components of the autonomic nervous system. Uh, the, uh, the English physiologist John Newport Langley, who coined the term autonomic nervous system, uh, had three components in mind. Uh, the enteric nervous system, meaning uh, referring to the wall of the gut. The parasympathetic nervous system, and uh, which is another phrase that Langley coined. And, uh, and the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is actually an ancient phrase, and it was introduced by, from the teachings of Galen, the second century Greek physician whose ideas dominated medical thought and practice for about 14 centuries until the discovery of the circulation of the blood by uh, William Harvey. And Galen taught that the, that the body has spirits, animal spirits, vital spirits, natural spirits, and the animal spirits would be, uh, would be distributed in the body by tubes. Now, we, now they're called nerves. And because of these, this distribution, the organs of the body would work in harmony with each other, uh, in concert with each other, in sympathy with each other. So that's the origin of the phrase sympathetic nervous system. Nobody's come up with very good evidence for the existence of the spirits. Uh, we're working on that. Uh, but the idea that the sympathetic nervous system somehow plays a, a role in coordination of the actions of different organs of the body is essentially correct. In the early 20th century, the uh, great uh, American physiologist, Walter B. Cannon, introduced another part of the autonomic nervous system, which was hormonal the sympathetic adrenomedullary system, or sympathetic adrenergic system. Cannon thought that the sympathetic nervous system and the, the, uh, the, and the adrenal medulla, uh, the source of adrenaline, or epinephrine, worked uh, together as a unified, a kind of a monolithic system uh, to respond to emergencies and to maintain homeostasis, a word that uh, Cannon invented. Cannon be Saint became so convinced that the, uh, the sympathetic and adrenomedullary system, the sympathoadrenal system or symp sympathico-adrenal medullary system, worked as a unit that in the 1930s he formally proposed that uh, adrenaline, the hormone coming from the adrenal medulla, is also the neurotransmitter of the sympathetic noradrenergic system, the sympath sorry, the sympathetic nervous system. And uh, he was wrong. And this probably cost him a Nobel Prize because the person who did identify uh, norepinephrine as the sympathetic neurotransmitter, uh, von Euler, in the mid-1940s, shared a Nobel Prize for that, uh, for that discovery. So there are four components, but a fifth component was introduced by Sir Henry Dale, and that has to do with sweating, the sympathetic cholinergic system. So there, there are five, at least five components of the autonomic nervous system. Remember, the, the autonomic nervous system is not autonomous. And as you can see, it's not a single system either. It has components. It's not even uh, a, a nervous system necessarily because of this this hormonal component, the sympathetic adrenergic system.